Hello all, I am here today to do a very, very requested video. Um, I have been meaning to do this video for a long, long while, but I just have not had time. Um, so, here I am to do a kind of exploration or a showing you my system for nail supply storage. So this is basically a visit to my nail desk. I have a couple lamps set up in here so that hopefully you'll be able to see everything in the drawers and to see everything the best that you can. Um, I'm just filming on my iPad so hopefully it won't be too shaky. I will really really try my best. Um, this may be a very long video so I might have to switch it up into a couple of parts but let's go ahead and get started. Okay so of course you can see here I've got all of my nail racks. I actually have six nail racks. I had to purchase two new ones recently. Um, I'm not going to do a nail collection video right now, but I might do that next because that has also been highly, highly requested. Um, right now I am just going to be focusing on my nail desk and storage. Um, so we're just going to kind of start at the left and we're just going to kind of move our way all the way to the right. And I'm going to show you everything I have and talk to you the best I can about how I have it stored. Okay, um, so first of all, you will see the desk itself. Um, this is just a basic desk. It's got kind of some bamboo accent handles. It's very old and beat up looking. I actually got this as a, at a flea market for like $14 and I shined it up and used some wood oil on it so it actually looks pretty good. It's definitely distressed looking but it looks pretty good and I don't want something just incredibly nice because what if I get nail polish on it or spill nail polish remover. Um, I'm a big thrifter as you guys know so that's where I got the desk. It's just a basic three drawer desk. Um, this chair, let me move a little closer, let me turn that around for you. This is actually a hand-painted chair by my grandma. Um, it doesn't necessarily match the decor, but my grandma hand-painted it, and so I just don't care. Um, so this is what I sit in. Um, so those are kind of the two big pieces of furniture here. Let's start at the top and work our way down. Okay, so here at the corner of the nail desk is my swatch stick collection. Um, I have multiple swatch sticks. Um, I've never done a swatch stick collection video, but I have a ton. I actually have several I haven't put on rings yet. Um, this is a glass candle holder that I got at a thrift store for about $2. Um, it's the only thing I found that's really big enough to hold them, um, and I like it because it's just clear glass so I can kind of find what I'm looking for if I'm looking for the blue or whatever. I like that I can see through it. Um, so I just kind of have that on the end there. This is a kind of disorganized mishmash of stuff. This is um, my main implements that I use. This plastic thing just has three separate little containers. This was actually um, the container that a body wash lotion type set came in for Christmas when I was like in high school. It is so incredibly old, but I like that it has the compartments. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. Um, I like that it has the compartments and uh, I don't know, I just reused it. Um, so in the first compartment, I have all of my nail files. I've recently purchased all of these new ones and I haven't opened them yet. Um, over here, we've got super glue. Um, down here we've got some more super glue, we've got cuticle remover, Sally Hansen, we've got another cuticle remover, I got that one at Ulta. Um, I have this trilipiderm that I got in a nail art society kit, it's just a lotion, um, and I've got a pair of scissors. Here in the middle one, I've got two pump bottles. This one is 100% acetone. This one is just regular nail polish remover. Um, if you want one of these bottles to put your acetone in, I bought this one at Sally's, and I think it was like 4 or $5. You can get these at Family Dollar for like two bucks, I think, and after you use it, you could put the pure acetone in it. That's what I'm going to do next time because this bottle works fine, and this one actually doesn't even pump good. I have to take the lid off, and it was the more expensive one, so yeah. Okay, over here, this looks somewhat dirty. Um, this is actually just, there's a little bottle in the bottom, and I've got my cotton claws, I've got acrylic brushes, I've got nasty, dirty, gross nail files that have nail polish on them. Um, so this is like my highly used kind of grosser stuff. Um, I've got some toe separators, I've got a buffing block, I've got an acrylic um, dappen dish, I've got another buffing block, I've got nail clippers that look like an alligator. Um, this is a container with my drill bits for my drill, and this is a 
cuticle, cuticle nipper, I can't talk there, um, and this thing that fell out was also a new buffer that I purchased that I haven't quite opened yet, so I have it just kind of stuck in there. Alrighty, back here is my zebra lamp. Um, I got this at Walmart, like eight years ago, um, but I really like it. It's a nice little desk lamp and it looks really soothing and calming. So I just think it's super cute. So I have it up here just for some extra light and just for a little bit of decor. Okay, moving here, of course I've got nail polish behind this, but this is kind of um, like where my plates are and my nail art magazine type stuff. I actually have a couple of nail art magazines that I haven't put up here yet. Um, after I read them, I put them up here and I have one or two of them I'm still kind of reading. Um, so anyway, I've got my nail art book from my wonderful friend Allie, which is Nice Nails. Um, I have all of the past issues of Nail It from the past year or so. Um, I do subscribe. It's like my favorite magazine. It's so super cute. Um, so I just kind of have those in the back in case I'm like, you know, I have writer's block or nail art block. Um, and then this, let me kind of push those back so they don't fall. I'll scoot this out here a little bit so you can see it better in the light. Um, this is my jumbo plates and just kind of some random things. So this black thing here, I don't know if you can see it, um, it's just wire and this is just a letter holder. Um, I got it at Walmart in the office supply section. Um, you can probably see it better as I take these out. So um, here are cheeky plates. Um, this was, I don't know, the first jumbo collection I think. Um, I don't remember what this was called. I think they were just the 2012 plates or something. I don't know. I have the whole collection. Um, it's where they have like the A, B, and C. They have the letters on them. I think it was the 2012. Um, so that was the first jumbo collection that Cheeky came out with. So I have that in the back section here. Um, in the middle section, I have the Cheeky Jumbo 2013 plates. These are the super cute ones with the little plaid on the back with the Viva Mexico and all of that type of stuff. Um, so I have kind of those two collections separated here. Okay, up front, all of this is um, Nail Art Society cards with the little nail art designs. Um, I just think they're cute and sometimes I can get like ideas for nail art. Um, I also have a card from Allie in here and I also have a card from Tanya um, so that's one of my subscribers I keep that stuff right here because I don't know I love you guys um, and then right up front are my brand new plates I got from my online shop um, I can link that video down below that's the one with the Disney plates and the Hello Kitty and all of those cute things um, obviously I haven't used them yet because um, my nails look like a wreck but I have those up front because they're a little bit smaller than the jumbo plates um, and this is pretty heavy with those metal plates so it holds the magazines up there they're pretty, pretty good. All right, um, moving here, we've got some more plates. I've got um, one of the Queen collections. I'm so sorry I don't remember the exact names of these. Um, I've done a video on most of them and showed them. I've got the other Cheeky. This is the Summer Collection. I've got those plates. Down here at the bottom, I've got another set of Cheeky plates. This is the Vibrant Collection. I've got a, another set of Queen plates right here. And in the top drawer are all of these little bottles. Um, I showed these in my Dollar Tree haul. Um, these are just glitters and just different little tiny things like that that I'm going to use for nail art. Um, I just put them in the top here. Um, this little organizer I got at Ross. And it's cute. It's just a mini three drawer organizer. I think it was $3.99. Um, and it has this kind of distressed or bumpy little top. I just think it's kind of cute. Um, and it's... It, it works pretty good to store my smaller plates and little things like that, so that's what I have there. Alright, um, this should actually be put up, but it's something new that I haven't used yet. Um, this is the ASP Acrylic Try Me Kit. I actually ran out of acrylic powder, and I wanted to try the ASP one, but I didn't know if I would like the whole thing, so I just bought this Try Me Kit. Um, I'm going to be using that soon, so I just left it out. And I also bought two more Dappin dishes, so those will be put away once I kind of organize that. Um, here is just a little red glassware. I think this is a candle holder I got for my mom or something. And inside of here I have all of my little julep lotions, um, the Lux Care. I just put little foil packets of lotion in there. I, I don't know, I just like it because my mom gave it to me. Um, this is 
a nail polish rack kind of or a little cosmetic storage thing I also got this at Ross for like three or four bucks so you can see I didn't spend a whole lot of money on anything in my nail area except for the racks those are the most expensive thing I have um, so here I have this nail pack polish it's just simply too big to fit in a rack so I just put it there I've got my julep stuff I've got the rockstar hand cream um, the cuticle vanisher the quick dry drops the cuticle oil um, I think this is the top coat yeah the freedom polymer top coat um, and then back here I've got like the moon candy those polishes you know with the two sides that don't really fit in a rack um, I've got the moon candies um, and a LA Colors one that's similar. I have those type of things. And then I have these two little nail art pens. Um, kind of just nail polish stuff that won't really fit in a rack is basically what I use that for. It's kind of like just a catch-all. Okay, over here I've got some moisturizers. Um, I'm in love with the Utterly Smooth Hand Cream. And I found another tiny one at Family Dollar. This big one I got in a twin pack at Walgreens. And I'm so excited that I found them there because I didn't know they were there. And then I've got two of the Orly Argan Oil Hand Creams. I got these recently at Ulta for like dirt, dirt cheap. These are normally like $15, $16. And I got them for like three bucks. So I got two of them. Um, it's some really good stuff. I really like that stuff. So I've got kind of a little moisturizer area there. And over here, um, I've got two candle jars that I have repurposed. Um, again, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a cool nail area. Um, just use stuff you have. Um, so these are actually two candle holders um, that I cleaned out and um, I've got cotton swabs in one. I've got cotton balls in the other. And this is a ring that Allie sent me in our swap that she made. I just put it there just because. Uh, again, I love you guys. Um, and this over here is my actual nail drill. I have had this thing for a long time. Um, there's obviously newer, nicer models out here, but this thing works. I've had it forever, and that's plugged in behind the desk. Um, so if I want to use it, I just kind of pull it forward, pull the little cord, um, and I've got that there. So I just kind of keep that up top and handy in case I'm doing acrylics and I need it. Okay, so that is everything on the top of the desk. Let's go ahead and move down to the drawers. I will show you everything that is in there. And this might be long enough where the drawers are going to be part two, so stay tuned and click on that video. I'll link it down below. Um, we're going to go to these drawers next.